fallout continues from President Trump's racist remarks about certain countries during an immigration meeting. During that meeting, President Trump slurred immigrants from, quote, shithole countries. Two lawmakers who were in the room confirmed he made the vulgar remarks. Senator Tim Scott telling the Charleston Post and Courier that fellow Republican Lindsey Graham told him the comments are basically accurate. The lone Democrat in the meeting, Senator Dick Durbin, arguing the president did use the vulgar characterization. He said these hate-filled things, and he said them repeatedly. The president is such a potty mouth. Like, that's the guy who should be eating Tide Pods, I'll tell you that. <laughs> When you think about it, his resting face is already the face you make when you eat one of those. <laughs> so here we go again, folks. President Trump busted for making monstrous comments, this time about an entire continent and Haiti. And, and just like every other time he says something indefensible, Fox News sprang to his defense. President Trump said something that almost every single person in America actually agrees with. An awful lot of immigrants come to this country from other places that aren't very nice. This is how the forgotten men and women in America talk at the bar. Mm. This is how Trump relates to people. If you're at a bar and you're in Wisconsin and you're thinking they're bringing in a bunch of Haiti people or El Salvadorians or people from Niger, this is how some people talk. Fox News is the greatest improv troupe of all time. <laughs> Because whatever Trump says, they immediately find a way to agree. He's like, I'm racist. They're like, yes, and so is everyone else. So is everyone else, yeah. <laughs> now, unfortunately, unfortunately, not everyone on Trump's side can revel in his racism like Fox. For instance, some Republican senators who were at the meeting on Thursday, well, they chose to come down with a sudden case of amnesia. Senators Tom Cotton and David Perdue released a joint statement saying this. We do not recall the president saying these comments specifically. They do not recall the president using the word shithole. Okay, okay. Now, this is interesting. Because we know the president said shithole, but neither of these senators remember it. So either a giant coconut hit both their heads at the same time, <laughs> or whenever President Trump speaks, they just tune him out. Which doesn't seem realistic, so I'm gonna go with the coconut. Yeah. <laughs> but look, I, I have no reason to not believe these senators, because it's, it's not like they said one thing and then two days later flipped it into something more politically convenient. Tom Cotton and David Perdue first on Friday said they did not recall the president saying these comments specifically. Yesterday, on the Sunday shows, their stories changed. Are you saying the president did not use the word that has been so widely reported? I'm telling you, you did not use that word, George, and I'm telling you, it's a gross misrepresentation. I didn't hear that word either. I certainly didn't hear what Senator Durbin has said repeatedly. Praise Jesus, my memory has returned. <laughs> uh, now I know why I left those keys. Uh, and I remember that awful thing with my uncle. Uh, yeah, that asshole kept throwing my keys away. Uh, <laughs> So, for three days, they didn't remember what happened. Then, they were like, oh, no, I didn't remember that I did remember what happened, which is that nothing happened. <laughs> you know, at some point in this weekend, I thought that this argument couldn't get any more stupid. Or is it any stupider? Or is it any more stupid? Or is it any The stu Washington Post reporter now writes this. White House official told me tonight there was a debate internally on whether Trump said shithole or shit house. <laughs> on the basis of very good source, he didn't say s-hole. He said S house. House instead of hole. Oh, <laughs> he said shit house. <laughs> now everyone in Africa is walking around like, ah, oh, that changes everything. <laughs> we live in a shit house, not a shit hole. <laughs> oh, Donald Trump. <laughs> At least now we have a shit roof over our heads. <laughs>